that all season, you know, making sure that we come ready to play. We stay with the systems, play fast. I think everybody's expected to uh, understand making plays and, and, and skating is going to be the key to, to success around here. Does, uh, does frustration, does that even begin to, to kind of describe your, you know, what happened for you this season? Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I've tried to put that behind me because that's only just going to create negative energy and I don't want that. So for me, it's a learning experience. I was able to come here and, and kind of watch the system and, and have a little jump start ready for next year. Everyone says young defensemen sometimes take a little bit longer to develop than maybe forwards. With that in mind, how impressed were you with, with how these, these three young guys did on the blue line? Well, that just shows the, the leadership that we've had in this room and, and the coaching ability and, and the style of play that we have. It allows them to have a little bit of freedom to make plays where um, you know, I know when I was growing up, uh, if you don't make that play, you're sitting on the bench. And um, So you know, I know Bill and and Smitty and, and Rod, they, they want you to make plays. So it, it kind of, I think, frees up a younger guy not to be so afraid to make mistakes. Will you start next season feel like you have something to prove? Um, I think more excitement is along the lines of uh, you know starting next year. I'm coming to a team that you know, we're pretty close to getting a playoff berth, but yet so far away. Um, five games is a lot. Five winning games is a lot. People don't realize that. So um, we have a uphill battle next year as well. You know, this league is only getting better and better. We have to understand with you know, a little bit of success, just a little bit, it's not near enough to um, you know to hang your hat on. So for next year, I think everybody needs to you know, worry about getting better in weight room, off season, and come ready to work next year. Where are you physically right now? I feel great, honestly. Um, according to you know, Doc, Dr. Marty Isbella did my, my surgery, and he would have gave me the okay a couple weeks ago to play. Um, it just, there wasn't any reason to. Um, you're more susceptible to doing something bad than just wasting time, you know, especially with the speed of the game, you know, when it comes to the end of the season, guys making playoff pushes and, and getting ready. Might as well just get ready, get ready for next year, get better in the weight room, and worry about coming in September. So you're in a position to do your normal summer or? Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah I have no uh, limitations of, of what I'm doing in the offseason program right now. How involved were, we, were you with the team off ice? Were you able to contribute and give tips to the young defensemen? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, whenever they had questions, I, I would like to come and to answer them. Uh, for me, it's. They treated me like that when I was younger. So and I've been in this league for a long time now. And any advice I can help help with the young guy, whether it's, hey, you had a couple bad shifts or whatever, just it's a long season. You kind of have to put that behind you. It's not it's not juniors or college anymore where, you know, you just worry about that one game. You just have to keep pushing. You know, you're not going to have your best game every every day, and you, but you can control your work ethic. And I think the younger guys really did an exceptional job of that. Thank you. Thanks, James. Yep, thanks.